Ooh, it smells good. Does it? No sugar. And no grains. Oh, nice. <laughs> I wish you guys could smell this. Oh, I'm so nervous for that one. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. Hey guys, so we just got to work and we're super excited because in this video we're going to be going vegan for a day. I am very nervous. Very nervous. Like, cause like I'm a picky person, so I'm a very picky eater. Yes. <laughs> having breakfast, lunch, and then we're gonna have a snack before we leave work. So without further ado, let's jump right let's into go. breakfast. So we're gonna be having Emmy cold brew black tea superberry and sweets from the earth sugar-free brownies. Very nervous. Like, there's like no like eggs or anything like that, so Very. they look good though. Yeah, they do. It has no sugar and it's gluten-free. No sugar and no grains. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever had like a cold brew tea. I honestly yeah. haven't heard cold brew used like tea. Before. Yeah. Hopefully it's. Gonna keep us energized for the day. Yeah, I hope so. Ooh, it smells good. Does it? It smells really good. Ooh, what does it smell like? Fruity. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're gonna take it to our desks and consume it. And <laughs> Let's start with the tea first. Honestly, I, I was kind of shocked about how tea flavored it is. I know that sounds like weird because mm -hmm. it's always a tea drink, but mm -hmm. I think we're just like used to like, the, like soft drinks. Yeah. So it was very tea forward. And yeah. it tastes kind of like juice to me. Yeah, yeah. it was pretty good. It just like, it was something to get used to. It's pretty good, like I enjoyed it. Solid start so Solid far. Start. I will preface this by saying I am not a huge chocolate fan. Mm -hmm. So this was very, very chocolatey to me, mm -hmm. but the texture was honestly like really good considering it didn't have like Eggs, yeah. Like the flavor was really good for me. Again, even though it was sugar-free, like it still had like a level of like sweetness to mm -hmm. it. But like, I think the texture was a little bit too dense for me. I mean, some people do like the denser brownie. Mm -hmm. okay, so what would you rate breakfast out of 10? Uh, so far I would say seven out of 10. I would say 7.5. Okay. Solid. Solid. We'll see you guys at lunch. Chef Lou's plant-based protein ramen. No MSG. Palm oil and it's kosher. It's gonna have the beef and I'm gonna have the chicken. I mean, quote unquote beef and chicken. Yeah, quote unquote. That's good already. Mm -hmm. So it says to warm it for two to three minutes. Um, I prefer my ramen a little bit more al dente. Put it for two minutes first and see what the texture's like. I'm curious to see if like it actually has like authentic chicken flavor. I think that it's cooked enough. I do like my noodles to be softer, so I'm mm. probably gonna go for the three minutes. <gasps> I wish you guys could smell this. Look at that color. We're having Betty Buzz. I'm super excited to try this because mm -hmm. it's Blake Lively's company. And this smells like a popsicle to me. It smells also like jello. Yeah. Like mm. Betty Buzz sparkling mixer, what did you think? I was very skeptical to be honest because it's a mixer so I thought it'd be a bit watered down. It's not like too sweet and not too overpowering. Because of the way it kind of like fizzed when we opened it, I thought it would be a lot more like carbonated. It was subtle mm -hmm. so I can see how it would work well as like a mixer because like it wouldn't overpower like whatever drink yeah. you add it to. Okay, let's jump into our ramen. Okay, I really like it. The only thing that was like a little off-putting for me is like the texture kind of like breaks down yeah. easier. I agree. Mm -hmm. um, I think the flavor is like its strongest point mm -hmm. where like I didn't miss the meat at all. Yeah. It did taste meaty. I agree with like the noodles where even when I cooked mine a bit longer, yeah, it, it didn't have that exact same texture that mm -hmm. Normal ramen or like normal instant noodle has, mm -hmm. but considering that it has 20 grams of protein, yeah, and it's vegan, like it's pretty solid. It's Betty Buzz, I would say solid eight, seven. Chef Roo, honestly, um, probably like a nine, 9.5. Mm -hmm. Like, it was very, very solid. I'll say like a nine as well. Solid, solid, solid all day. <laughs> solid. Friends, we will be back for our final meal ish of the day, which is our snack. Our final meal for the day, it's snack time. Um, so they're Herbaland gummies. So they're called snacks with benefits because I think it has like 
benefits. The lemon black tea flavor. Noble jerky. Vegan jerky. Chipotle flavor. I'm so nervous for that one. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I hope the flavor is really good. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Oh, you got a big piece. I did. I'm gonna go for a baby one. It's actually kind of spicy. Mm-hmm. It creeps up on you. Mm-hmm. Because we have normal jerky. Yeah. I keep comparing this to like the normal meat mm -hmm. jerky. Like yeah. the flavors are really good. Like you said, it has like a nice little kick and mm -hmm. some nice sweetness to it. It's not like super salty. Yeah. Like, like you would expect from a jerky. Mm -hmm. I think also like the texture, it's chewy, but not like a jerky. I think if it, you find a better term to define it, mm -hmm. it would be a lot better because you don't come in with these expectations. Mm -hmm. Though, if you were a vegan, mm -hmm. like- you I wouldn't would, be mad at it. Yeah, you would probably enjoy it. Like it definitely is not like a meat alternative yeah, by no. any means, mm -hmm. but close enough. Close enough. It's not hard at all. It literally tastes like nest cheese. Yeah, like the texture was a lot softer than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, it has seven different mushrooms in it. Mushrooms, I would have never guessed mushrooms. It's good, it's good, yeah. Honestly, a solid 10. For a nine, just mm. because again, the texture, Yeah. not exactly like the gummies we're used to. Mm -hmm. We went vegan for a day Ooh. for the first time, especially for us who are super picky eaters. Mm -hmm. The fact that we survived today is something definitely to applaud. Honestly, with the amount of options we had, it wasn't that bad. At the end of the day, like mm -hmm. I am not craving the meat mm -mm, flavor. It was a success, I think, in my opinion. Everything was pretty solid. You rate your overall vegan day in general. For me today, 10 out of 10. I would also give it a 10 out of 10. So would you do this type of video again? For sure. Bye. Bye.